Hey, good morning. All right, good morning, everybody. Um, so what we're going to do now is just a, a tutorial on ReadWorks. Um, this is a great place to find some uh, reading uh, assignments that come with uh, a narrative. And what I'll try to do on Monday morning is assign a, a few reading um, passages for the week. Uh, I didn't want to start that this week just because we're kind of overwhelmed with everything else and I don't want to make uh, this week or next week any more difficult than what it has to be. But once we get started, uh, I'm definitely going to um, add in some more uh, read works as we go. Um, so I've logged in under Justin and I think you guys have my password for that. If you don't, give me a text and I'll shoot it to you again. Um, so this is ReadWorks, and um, it's a uh, it, it's a great little um, place that you can come to answer to get a narrative that's assigned on the grade level, or the purpose of your reading assignment. And I'll just show you that real quick. So if we go in here, we can go and we can go to find content, and this is pretty much the page that you're going to kind of work from. If you look over here on the left hand side, this is a really easy sort of a uh, way to determine um, are, are basically a good place to start from. They start out by giving uh, just um, sort of uh, different topics on the top here. Uh, and you also want to be aware a lot of our stuff has question sets, which is really good. And it comes with audio, uh, which is pretty awesome. Uh, but if you want to get down to uh, a little bit more particular stuff, uh, you could go to grade level. So if you want to go to grade level, um, then you can uh, uh, go there. So let's just start out. Let's say we want to do a fourth or fifth grade reading level. We'll just click on that. And that's sort of your filter. It's going to give you, um, you know, whatever it is. Uh, they have there for the fifth grade level, and it also shows you the lexicon level there. Uh, it'll also tell you if it comes with a video, if it's nonfiction, how many words, and a question set, which is pretty important. Um, for the question set, uh, you'll see, uh, I'll go ahead and I'll open up the, uh, the Brothers one. And you have your audio over here, so uh, that can be done. Brothers by ReadWorks. Joseph had run away. Philip could tell his mother was worried by the way she painted. So it can be read to them. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think it has the yellow bouncing ball, which I would love. Uh, <clears throat> but um, yeah, uh, as you can see, here's the narrative for fifth grade level. Um, and then what you can do is once they're done reading everything, uh, this has the capability to print, uh, and it also has a bigger view just like this right okay and then you can X back out of that uh, this is just to bookmark uh, what you have done you don't really need to worry too much about that one uh, and you can print it if you have a printer at home uh, you'll do the uh, you can click the reading passage vocabulary if you want it to uh, answer keys on the side for you that some, sometimes kind of makes it easier to have an answer key. You don't have to read through the whole passage again. So what I'll do sometimes is I'll print this off. And for um, a lot of my guys, I'll do the comprehension questions and then I'll do the answer key. But of course, once I print this off, uh, I will keep the answer key to myself <laughs> and let them do the qu comprehension questions. That way I don't have to read through everybody's narrative because when we do read works in the classroom, everybody is kind of at a different level. So that'd be a lot of reading and we wouldn't get on to the next assignment if I didn't do that. So answer key if you want it or if you don't want it. Also, um, I usually do with written answer lines, uh, just that gives them a line to write on, that's all. It doesn't keep it uh, just an open space, but I usually put in there uh, with written answer lines. And then uh, it'll show you just uh, how it's going to print out. This will come up, and I don't have the newest laptop, so it takes a little bit. And then there's your final printout, and that's what it looks like. Uh, and then that way they can do, uh, they can have the paper in front of them. And you can do it like this. Uh, you may need to uh, uh, cover some paper, uh, use a piece of paper to cover up and have them uh, sort of recover this part up so they can read one line at a time. Uh, that might help them out a little bit. And then you have your um, multiple choice questions here. 
<clears throat> and then you have your uh, written questions down here. And then if you are going to print it out, here's your answer key. The answer key comes at the very back. And it's a uh, it's pretty good little, just a little something to have to see what the expectation is of the answer. Okay. And then so we can go back and we will uh, do another one real quick. So we can go back to um, find the content. And we're back to a clear filter. Uh, so let's do some K or one, and I can kind of show you what that looks like. K or one, deserts. Uh, same thing with the audio. And uh, we have, uh, you know, a little less words. We have 90 words here. Lexile level of 570. It's nonfiction. Uh, you have all your information on the side here. Here's the California Core Standards, if you're interested. <laughs> they all come with that. And so, um, as you can see, this come was a question set. The one thing with K uh, that, that I like is it's uh, audio uh, for those. And then if you uh, print this guy out, sometimes at the K level and the first grade level, uh, they come with uh, not just words, but there's pictures in there on some of them. Uh, there is so much content. Um, in this uh, in this website, it's really really great. So they have um, and if you're going 11 or 12th, I can show you what that looks like. Uh, let's see, centuries of peace. Same thing. Like I say, the narrative is really big, uh, and then your question set is also a little bit more elaborate. And um, so you can go in here and. Northern Africa. Okay, there's got to be a way to speed that up. <laughs> I'll look into that. Uh, but it can be, it can all be read to them. Okay, they can read it, but it all can be read to them as well. Um, and then uh, they can be provided with the answer here. Or another way to do this is go ahead, print it out. Print out what you want to be printed out. Um, and then I can show you this too as well. And you can do the answer key and with written. And then your printout looks just a little bit like, come on. Sometimes with these generation, or these things that have to generate custom stuff, it just takes a few seconds for it to pop up. And so it kind of does, hopefully that kind of gets itself back in. Kind of goes through the words, so you can go through a couple of the words that uh, may be a little bit difficult. Uh, gives you an idea, sort of breaks down the words, which is great. Um, uh, the three words, and then we go into our uh, question and answer section here. And thank goodness for us, there's the written, and thank goodness for us, there's the answer keys, right? So you have the power in your hand. <laughs> okay. Um, so let's go back to ReadWorks. Also, go back to find content. That's our sort of our home base there. Uh, you can also scroll down here, and it can be done in topics. Okay. So if you if we want to do a specific topic, uh, I personally like nonfiction, um, and then you can adjust the lexile level here, right? And it'll filter itself out. Okay, which is really great. And that'll show you everything. Okay, uh, you can pick nonfiction or fiction. Uh, what I also like here on the topics, let's uh, minimize that. Okay, you're not letting me minimize that. What I like to do here with skills and strategy is uh, it will narrow it down to cause and effect. So that way we are teaching all kind of cause and effect stuff. Uh, inference, which uh, might be a little bit difficult for our guys, but uh, nice to look at just to see where they're at uh, to do some inference stuff. Main idea, what's the main idea? So we're targeting stories that are specific to main idea. Sequencing is also uh, a great one. Step one, step two, step three. Uh, so that way you can sort of whittle it down to what you want to work on, okay? Uh, and it tells you where you're at, skill strategy, sequence, and that you're a Lexile between 0 and 1,200. Uh, if your guy isn't up to 1,200, uh, you can bring that guy down to 700. That'll filter it down a little bit more for you, so that way you can adjust, okay? 
And uh, same goes on the on this uh, bar. If your guy, if you don't really want to see anything under 800, you won't. And there you go. And you can X all of that out and start back to zero. Okay, it's pretty easy. Uh, vocabulary support. Uh, they actually added eBooks, which is pretty nice. I haven't even actually been into this. Um, Uh, this is just, I think this is, oh no, it comes with a reading too. I'll have to look more into this because I haven't really looked. Pictures of the Year by Rochelle Kreisman. I'm going to have to look at that. That's a new edition. I know ReadWorks has done a lot uh, just in the past few weeks uh, on their website. So that's really nice. Um, so yeah, that's where we are with uh, ReadWorks. And I will start to, uh, uh, you know, quote unquote, assign um, stuff to you guys. Let's do human voice audio, see what that looks like. An unlikely parasite. Okay. All right. So that's our ReadWorks. Um, if you guys have any questions, like I say, I'm going to post this um, on the YouTube channel. And that way uh, you can comment down below. Hey, Justin, what about this? Hey, you forgot that. Or, uh, you know, what about this? So um, that's pretty much it. You have your passage, your question set. That This comes with an ebook, and it can be audio and read or audio and read at the same time. Uh, and then you have your view uh, if you want to make it bigger or you want to X out. Uh, print if you want to print. Uh, don't worry about the assign right now. That really doesn't have anything to do with us. So that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope this has helped you guys out a little bit. And uh, like I say, just leave your uh, comments at the bottom if there's anything that I missed, which I probably did. Okay, guys. Well, have a good day, and we'll see you, uh, see you later.